Hey everyone, in this quick tip, we're gonna go over how to properly load a wheel loader bucket. Check this out. Okay, today's quick tip is about how to properly load a wheel loader bucket. Now, if you wanna see a longer version, watch our wheel loader 201, we go into it a little bit further, but we've had a couple of requests that people just want a shorter video on this. So uh, again, not gonna go over any of the basics. We've already done all that. And again, like I say in all my videos, not an expert, just trying to show you some tips and tricks for us. So. Uh, the machine's already live. Uh, I really wanted to show you a couple of different things. A lot of people, some new operators are going in and they may just curl the bucket in right away. The problem with just curling that bucket and you're not really maximized, you're not getting a full load in there and you're also not putting any pre downward pressure on the front tires. So uh, it's really important to make sure your bucket's level and then as you're going in, you're raising that boom up into it and curling kind of at the same time. It's kind of a back and forth. And I'll demonstrate the right and wrong way in a sec. Now the biggest thing on knowing if your bucket's level or not, uh, every bucket, you can't see the front blade on a bucket. So uh, ours, we actually, for training purposes, we paint red lines on the top. There's always gonna be a straight edge there. So you wanna try and find that straight edge because that is your best indicator of level to uh, the, the front of the bucket. The other, almost all new machines have a return to dig feature. So if I open this thing up right now, the other thing you can do, if I just take this right joystick and just go like that, they have an auto level in them. So once you're set there, now if I just push forward, it's gonna hold that. So that's really the easier way, but I also, I don't like to teach technology on every single one. I want people to know how to do it manually. So going in, I'm gonna run this Komatsu. We're in a Komatsu wheel loader, gonna come up forward here. So once you're level, you kind of get it down to where it's touching the ground. Now the wrong way to do this, now if I just go in, we're in a really soft material here. So uh, you really wanna try and avoid spinning your tires too, but I'm in there right now. A lot of new operators might just start curling. Well, that's not really effective in filling your bucket. And also you'll notice the bottom of the bucket, it can do some damage to the ground and everything underneath because that whole thing is curling up and down. So that's not really, you'll see I didn't get much. So I'm gonna pick this up, pull it forward, back up. And again, I'm just doing return to dig here. So on that joystick. Bring that back down, again, right above the ground. So once you're right above that ground, right there at the ground level, you're gonna drive forward into the pile. Now here's the key is you really wanna start raising that boom up while you're driving forward into it. And what the biggest thing you're achieving there is you're putting downward pressure on the front tires. That is gonna give you more traction. Now for our area right here, we're in a very sandy area. So you're gonna see my tires are gonna spin. You wanna try and avoid spinning your tires. That puts undue wear on the tires, plus your the ground all around the spoil pile or whatever you're picking up off of is gonna get damaged. So, but I'm gonna start demonstrating. If I pull back, I'm giving a little bit of gas. I'm just pulling back. Once I get to about halfway there at the steering wheel, I start doing, you can either go back and forth, up and in, or I'm kind of doing both at the same time. I'm curling and raising it up. And you'll see that gave me a really full bucket. And then I bring it back and I'm bringing it down low. So again, the key there is to have raised that boom up. Do not just drive in and curl it right away. You should, I can't think of a time where you'd ever be curling your bucket down at the ground. You want to be, I usually get halfway into it. I'm almost right below my dash and my steering wheel where I'm still driving into it in that flat configuration. Then I start curling and raising at the same time. One more time, I'll show you. Flat to the ground. As I'm going in, I'm pulling back. Then right about halfway, now I'm curling and pulling back, trying to avoid spinning the tires. That's something you'll get better over time. Again, I'm in a really soft environment, so it's really easy to spin my tires and bring it back. Hey everyone, that's how to properly load a wheel loader bucket. Put comments below and any tips or tricks you might have. Thanks for watching.